Enough talk about all the time variants that happened in 2021. Time to talk about the variants that made the year. This is the top 10 hottest variants that came out in 2021. Now, some of these books were open to order. Some of these books were ratio variants, but every single one of them was a scorcher. They were coming in and out of our consciousness all throughout the year. And even at the end of the year, they are still hot as all get out. Now, the first one on the list, even a Sega boy like me was not specking on this book. Slap the like, hit the subscribe, stay tuned to the end because number one's a banger and we have a giveaway on deck. We have Sonic the Hedgehog 30th anniversary special, The One in 25, celebrating 30 years of Sonic published on the anniversary day. $150 average sales for this book. And really, it's a 1 in 25, which is a tough thing for Sonic. I don't have that many people ordering this How book. How many did for, you order? We ordered four. Four copies of the regular cover. When we stretch to get a 1 in 10 4 drain variant for the, the Sonic, it's tough. To get a 1 in 25 Tyson Hesse is really, really impossible. And that's the reason why all of our Sonic fans out there are buying this book. I also expect to see it spike again when Sonic 2 comes out with Miles Prower and Knuckles showing up in the movie. Make sure to download the best comic app in existence, breaking down all the different 2021 tier lists. We're talking key collector comics. Use code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription, support what we do, and get access to all of the variants that made the hot 2021 list. There's like 40 plus of them. Keeping you updated on the market suggested pricing and so much more at the list at number nine peach momoko coming in hot with defenders issue number one the one in 50 hitting 100 dollars average sales this cover is stunning now, 2020 was the year of the peach, and she won the Eisner Award for Best Cover Artist. But 2021, she has not let up at all. She has done new variants for everyone. Now, this Defenders number one is a stunning cover selling for a good amount. But also on the list is this Red Room number one variant that Peach did such a creepy with really kind of ties to her horror, like the heavy metal and that Girls and Corpses stuff that she did. It's kind of cool to see her come out of the super superhero realm and do horror again. The comic fam hasn't seen anything yet from Peach because as soon as publishers start to utilize her more, Marvel starts creating some more horror themed comics. That's when she's going to unleash the demons. Speaking of which demon days would be ranking top five comics of the year for me. Fantastic book, stunning art, amazing narrative. And since we brought up Red Room, Ed Piscor, Jim Rugg, we got to give a shout out to Jim Rugg's one in 15 variant, an homage to TMNT. Red Room was a grotesque creation that is just wonderful. It's brilliant. It is so out there and an independent title that really got all of its hype from their YouTube channel, their community that they're building over there, bravo. Now, while the content of Red Room may not be for everyone, the cover game was on point. I mean, come on, Jim Rugg and Ed Pisker pulling out a Love and Rockets homage. Bravo, guys, seriously, that's a deep cut. Deep cut indeed, and at the list at number eight, we got Tony Fleece making it with Miles Morales Spider-Man Annual 2021. This was a one in 25 variant, surprising the community Community because there's no dogs on it. This is such a cool cover. When this one came out, I was actually a little shocked and then said, oh, this is Tony Fleece. Well, it was Miles Morales. It looked kind of like a pulpy thing. It's got this like, you know, Hardy Boys, Nancy Distressed Drew. Feel. a little bit. Oh, it's cool. Like very, very vintage homage $80 average sales. It's still selling very, very strong for this 1 in 25 variant. And Tony did not stop there. He did so many other covers that didn't have dogs on them, but a lot of them that did. But the ones we're talking about do have dogs on it. <laughs> <laughs> However, through a different publisher, and it's not Stray Dogs. No, he teamed up with Nick Berucci. Shout out Dynamite Comics. Go follow their YouTube channel. With an Army of Darkness, a Red Sonia and Vampirella cover, all done by Tony Felice. These are gorgeous. Yes, there are dogs on on them and it's really fun to see just how impactful Stray Dogs was that 
It's making the pups popular on other covers. Number seven on the list, Black Adam Endless Winter Special number one. This was the cover B variant, the Boss Logic variant, and it was open to order. A ton of people missed this book because a lot of people don't want to spend one extra dollar. Well, if you had, you would have a book selling for $40 average sales right now. Possibly the best all-time Black Adam cover to have ever been made. Boss Logic, one of the most important creators and his team in not just the mainstream, because you know, when DC drops a movie, when Marvel drops a movie, they're waiting anxiously for Boss Logic to make that magic happen. No, he's one of the most important artists of our generation and in the comic book community as well. Not just beautiful and stunning, but quick. Every single time something major happens in the community or in the world, Boss Logic and his team come out with something appropriate almost immediately. It's stunning to see how up to date they are. Whether it's a celebrity matchup, whether it's post a Netflix hit, anything that happens in culture, I'm waiting anxiously what Boss is going to release because you know it's going to take over the internet at the list. At number six, we have every rogue on one cover. Excalibur issue number 18, the one in 25 variant, hitting $150 average sales. A Russell Dodeman variant. This was a ratio variant, and Rogue has been one of those favorites that people love forever, so it's great to see a collection of every single one of them on the cover. You know how Patrick Leeson's Webhead variant just took the world by storm, and they made like 15 others? Yep. I want to see the same treatment over at Marvel for variants like this. Every character on one cover. They have a Venom one, but they don't have enough. We got to see every character, every fandom needs to be served. This book is going places. Next at the list at number five, Taskmaster number three, a one in 25 variant that is a key book, but it's on here and spiking because of that cover. I don't think any of us thought we were going to be talking about Taskmaster so much this year. And this Shane Davis variant featuring Black Widow on the cover with Taskmaster kind of jumping at her with the reflection on her dress is just stunning. Keep in mind that this book is also propelled by the fact that it is the first appearance of Taiguki, a new Korean hero. Keep in mind that the second print actually features the hero on the cover, even gets introduced in the border right on the front. Next at the list, at number four, we have the Joker number two, the one in 50 Santa Prisca variant. This is a crazy book because it's the first appearance of Vengeance and none of us knew that this variant was coming. It's called a one in 50 variant, but it was actually treated the way that if your shop ordered 50 copies of Joker number two, you got one of these. So if you ordered 250, you didn't get five, you got one. So this is a low print book and the fact that we get to see Vengeance, Bane's daughter on the cover of this book at a secret variant made this a hot one to have. $220 average sales for the first appearance of Bane's daughter on the interior and on the cover. And at the list of number three, this book went mainstream. It got so hot. Comic fam, if you like what we do every single week for the comic book community, you can support us and support another member of the YouTube comic fam. We have Reggie Collects, Smart guy to comic collecting. He made an over 80 page book about the tricks and tips for not just new collectors, but senior collectors and one per box. We're sending out an homage to wizard. Number one, we have virgins going out at random comic Tom com to join the community link in the description. Number three on the list, Superman, the son of kal Number one, there was a one in 50 of the third print. This book's hitting $250 average sales. This run had a kind of a slow burn. We would be introduced to Jay Nakamura in issue two. We would learn about his powers in issue four. We would find the reveal that Jonathan Kent is indeed bisexual and is building a relationship with this new character in issue five. They would take all this mainstream hype and create a third print of issue one, the one in 50, which features both characters on the cover sharing a tender kiss. 
So this book definitely became the mainstream consciousness. A lot of people were talking about how important this book was. And that was why even after Jay was introduced and they talked about it later in the series, they went back and reprinted issue number one. If you're looking for first prints of issue number one, though, there is an incredible Jen Bartel variant and a one in 50 variant done by John Timms, which are still affordable, but both made the list. Some great honorable mentions at the list at number two. Hit the like, slap the subscribe. We have a major moment for the Spawn universe. It was created. It was expanded. And we have King Spawn number one, the one in 250 variant. Todd McFarlane has been pushing the boundaries and the limits of comic collecting as an art form and as a medium for years and years. And the fact that he came out and said, I'm going to be making a book, I'm going to be signing this once, and we're only making as many copies as I sign, a lot of people wanted to get on board, but I don't think any of us knew the demand was going to be so big. They made 1,697 that were signed and released and destroyed the rest of them. This book was a hot book, even with a relatively high print run for what Todd said. This would start a domino effect. The success of this release would push him to do it again for Gunslinger Spawn, making another one in 250 that he would sign in the same way, also making the hot variants list over on Key Collector Comics. He didn't just do this for readers. He didn't just do this for Spawn fans. He did this for collectors. He flew down to Baltimore, signed them by hand. He also made copies available if they were damaged in transit. He replaced them and destroyed the damaged copies to preserve the print count. He even included a CGC certificate of authenticity so that collectors can send this comic book in to get it graded. Classy move, Todd Father. Now, Todd also had a private signing for Gunslinger Spawn, the one in 250 variant. There were 1,191 variants of that made, but not to be outdone, Greg Capullo made the hot list as well with his number 315, one in 50 sketch variant and his Spawn Universe number one, one in 50. Those made honorable mentions on the hot variant list over on Key Collector Comics, as well as Spawn 321, the one in 50 Bajor Berenz variant. Todd came on the show we did an interview and he mentioned that Bajor makes 3d models of his figures so he can use them as reference on his covers that's why they look so outstanding comic fam like subscribe comment down below let us know did we miss any variants what are your favorite variants of this year you're gonna get an opportunity to win our house of slaughter number one mystery mail call variant by Davi go number one on the list the breakout star of the year kudos to Rose Bash. We have Wonder Woman Black and Gold number five, the one in 25 variant. This book was so hot, it made our trending list multiple times a 1 in 25 variant, $170 average sales. And the coolest thing about this is that it's not even Rose Besh's normal style. The black and gold, it was a stunning Wonder Woman variant. But if you look at some of her other variants, her use of pinks and pastels are really more her forte. That's right. And she was all over the hot variants list over on Key Collector. Silk number two made it, the one in 25. Spider Woman number nine almost was placed at number one here. <laughs> it's also a one in 25. She really came out the gate strong and has continuously outputted such strong pieces of art. I'm so excited of where she's going to be going next year. At Emerald City, I had the opportunity to meet her and she was doing all pink sketch colors. If you follow her over on IG, you will see some of these great covers where she had like a Harley Quinn and it's done in six, seven, eight different shades of pink. It's awesome. It, it, it's kind of like this Amethyst Princess of Gem World, all of these great pastel feels. It's cool. And I'm excited to see where she's going in 2022. I also got to meet her too. She's a lovely person. She's super kind. It is really cool to see so many people in the industry that are just really great and down to earth. And since we're talking about Wonder Woman Black and Gold, I have to give a big shout out to David Mack, his Incentive variant on issue number two was also incredible. This has become one of my favorite artists of all time. And I can't wait to see what output he's going to be providing the community next year. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this list. And we will see you in more videos in 2022. As always, geek responsibly. Enough said. Every single Wednesday, what not Wednesday, you can join us over on the best new app to buy and sell comic books. Dollar star auctions that last 60 seconds long. 
Who would have thought it would be so fun? We have two other videos for you to enjoy. We made them for you, and Happy New Year.